learning objectives. After learning this module, you will be able to understand definition of bills of exchange and promissory note. Explain the advantages of bills of exchange. Understand content and parties to bills of exchange. Understand features of bills of exchange. Difference between bills of exchange and promissory note. Understand uses of bills receivables and bill payable. Instrument of credit handies. Meaning of goods purchased on cash. When goods are purchased and sold on cash, the payment is made to seller in cash. Here, mode of payment is cash. Meaning of goods purchased on credit. However, when goods are bought, instrument of credit, bills of exchange. When bills of exchange came into existence. Bills of exchange has been known in India since immemorial times and were known by the name of Hundi. This Hundi used in ancient times acted as instrument of credit whenever goods were sold. Features of Bills of Exchange Features of Bills of Exchange Bills of Exchange is used when goods are sold on credit. Bills of Exchange is generally drawn by creditor, the seller, upon debtor, the buyer, which needs to be accepted by the debtor or anyone on his behalf duly signed by both the parties. It contains written order to pay certain amount on specified future date unconditionally. Following are some of the features of bills of exchange enumerated below. Bills of exchange must be in writing to make it effective and valid. It needs to be signed by the drawer or the maker of bills of exchange. The drawer, the drawee and pay all three must be certain. The sum payable on due date must be of certain amount. It should be duly stamped as per law requirement. Date and place should be in order. It must contain express order to pay money and money only. Nothing is acceptable in kinds. The order or draft must be unconditional order to make payment. It is termed as draft till acceptance of bill is made by the droy or buyer of goods. Five certainties for valid bills of exchange. Drawer or seller must be certain. Droy or buyer must be certain. Bills of exchange as order must be certain. Sum of amount payable on due date must be certain. Pay, that is buyer, needs to be certain. Parties to bills of exchange Parties to bills of exchange There are three parties to bills of exchange. The sellers or creditors who is to receive money from debtors that is buyer is drawer of the bills of exchange duly signed by both the parties. The drawy is the person on whom the bills of exchange is drawn and debtor or purchaser is the drawy. The pay is the person to whom payments is to be made and the drawer of the bill is himself the pay. When pay is changed, the pay may change in following situations. In case the drawer or holder of bills got the bill discounted from the bank, the person who discounted the bill 
will become the pay. Here, bank becomes pay. In case, the bill Advantages of Bills of Exchange Advantages of Bills of Exchange Bills of Exchange is instrument of credit frequently accepted in businesses when goods are sold on credit due to following advantages. 1. Framework for Relationship Bill of Exchange acts as device which provides framework allowing credit transaction to take place between the seller, that is creditor, and the buyer, that is debtor, on agreed basis without any conditions attached to it. 2. Terms and conditions are certain. In bills of exchange, terms and conditions are already defined. Here, date of payment, that is maturity date, amount, to paid, interest, any to be paid, place of payment are clearly mentioned in bills of exchange. Hence, creditor, that is seller, knows the time and due date. Promissory note Definition of promissory note Promissory note is legal instrument in writing in which one party, that is maker or issuer, promises to pay certain amount of money to the other party, that is pay on specified date under specific condition. Hence, promissory note is particularly financial statement, not being bank note or parties to promissory note. Parties to promissory note. There are two parties to a promissory note. Drawer or maker is the person who makes the note and promises to pay the amount as mentioned in Objectives of Bills of Exchange and Promissory Note Objectives of Bills of Exchange Some of the objectives of Bills of Exchange are following. Bills of Exchange are similar to checks and promissory note. They can be drawn by individual, that is creditor, or bank. There are three parties in bills of exchange, drawer, drawee, and the pay. Drawer and the pay can be the same person, unless the drawer transfers bills of exchange to third person. Bills of exchange generally do not pay interest, making them essence post-date checks. If the bills are issued by a bank, they can be referred to as bank draft. If they are issued by individuals, they are termed as trade draft. If the funds are to be paid immediately or on demand, bills of exchange is known as a site bill. If they are to be paid at predefined date in future. It is known as a term bill. Objective of Promissory Note Promissory note is written promise made by one party to make payment to specified amount of money to another party or determined future date. Promissory as valid documents should meet following requirement. It must be written document. It must not be a bank note or currency note. It must contain unconditional undertaking. Promissory note must be payable to definite person. In promissory note, amount should be definite. It needs to be signed by the maker of note to make it valid. Distinction between Bills of Exchange and Promissory Note Difference between Bills of Exchange and Promissory Note 1. Drawer Bills of Exchange is usually drawn by the creditor. Promissory Note is usually drawn by debtor. 
2. Order or Promise Bills of exchange is an order or direction to pay. Promissory note is promise to pay. 3. Parties to instrument In bills of exchange, there are three parties who are involved. The drawer, the drawee and the pay. In promissory note, there are two parties involved. The maker and the pay. 4. Acceptance In bills of exchange, draft needs to be accepted by the drawee to make him liable to pay. In promissory note, there is no need for acceptance as it is signed by the person who is liable to pay. 5. Pay In bills of exchange, the drawer and the pay can be same person. In promissory note, drawer cannot be the same person as pay. 6. Notice required. If bills of exchange is dishonored, notice of dishonor needs to be given by the holder to the drawer of the bill or to all the parties who are liable to pay. In case of promissory note, there is no need for giving notice in case of dishonor of note. 7. Liability of Maker In case of bills exchange, the liability of the drawer is termed to be conditional and secondary in nature. In case of bill, drawer is primarily liable to make payment. The drawer becomes liable only when the drawee does not pay on due date. In case of promissory note, liability of the maker of a note is primary and absolute. Maturity of Bill Meaning of Maturity of Bill The term maturity of bill means the date on which bills of exchange or promissory notes becomes due for payment by the holder of the bill. In other words, BE is defined as the date on which payment will fall due. Following two conditions needs to be satisfied in case of maturity of bills. An instrument is said to be at maturity when its payment becomes due. Maturity of negotiable instrument comes under two heads. Payable on demand. Payable other than on demand. Days of grace. In case of bills or notes payable other than on demand, the date of maturity has to be calculated. To reach to the date of maturity of bill, Three days extra known as days of grace is added to the date on which period of credit of instrument expires. Example, if bill dated 1st December is payable after 30 days, then due date falls on 3rd January, that is 33 days after 1st December. Normal maturity periods are 30. 60, 90, and 120 days. When date of maturity is on holidays. When the date of maturity falls on public holiday, the instrument will become due on preceding business day, that is, one day before due date. In case there is emergent holiday declared by Government of India under Negotiable Instruments Act and maturity date falls on that holiday, then due date of bill will be next working day immediately after holiday. Discounting of Bill What does the term discounting of bill meant for? If the creditor or bill holder needs funds or capital just before due date of bills of exchange 
in that case they can reach the bank for encashment of the bill then the bank pays to the creditor after deduction of the interest component from the bill this whole process is known as discounting of the bill the bank recovers the amount from the drawee on the due date of bills of exchange while the discounting of bill bank buyers bills of exchange or promissory note before the due date and provide credit to the creditors accounts after recovering discount charges from the bill what is discounting advance against security of the bill discounting of bill is considered to an advance against security of the bill and discount charge or component availed represents the interest on the advance which is calculated from the date of purchase of the bill until it is due for the payment why bill discounting bills discounting is a tool in the hand of seller or creditor for funding of working capital requirement of company or any firm the bank provides loan to their customers by discounting the bills of exchange the discount charged as interest is the earning of the bank discounting of bill can take place only before the maturity date benefits of discounting of bill payment is made before due date of bills after interest deduction the party get funds for the capital management without waiting till the date of maturity of bills in case the bill is dishonored the bank can recover the amount from the customer content of bills of exchange contents of bills of exchange 1 date the date on which bill is drawn that is issue date needs to be shown on the top right corner of the bill this is important to determine the maturity date of the bill 2 amount the billing amount should be in figures and words as well the figured amount should be mentioned at the top left corner of the bill and amount in word should be mentioned in the body part or in the center of the bill the currency of money should also be mentioned in foreign bills of exchange case 3 terms the terms define the tenure of the bills and runs from the date of the bill this should be mentioned at the body part grace period of 3 days should be mentioned after expiry of the tenure of the bill 4 stamp stamp of appropriate value depending on the amount of bill shall be affixed on the bills of exchange 5 parties there may be three parties to the bill of exchange the draw the drawee and the pay however in some cases drawer and pay may be the same person all parties the names and their addresses should also be mentioned in the bills of exchange 6 consideration or benefits availed this point is important as in terms of law those agreements which is made without any consideration or benefits attached is not considered as lawful consideration meant for context of bills of exchange and it meant for that the bill has been issued in exchange of some consideration or benefit has already been received that is goods have been purchased or sold by the buyer endorsement of bill endorsement of bill a bill of exchange is a negotiable instrument hence it is document which is transferable without any need for giving notice to the party liable to make payment that is the drawee 
द ड्रॉर और होल्डर ऑफ द बिल में एंडोर्स दैट इज मीनिंग ट्रांसफर द बिल इन फेवर ऑफ हिज क्रेडिटर फॉर क्लियरिंग हिज ओन डेथ द एक्ट ऑफ पुटिंग सिग्नेचर ऑन बैक एंड ट्रांसफरिंग द बिल इज कॉल्ड एज एंडोर्समेंट पार्टीज टू एंडोर्समेंट देर आर two parties involved in case of endorsement of bills one endorser the holder of the bill who puts his signature on back of bill with intention of transferring in favor of third party then he or holder becomes the endorser second endorsee the person to whom the bill of exchange is transferred becomes the endorsee essential of a valid endorsement it must be signed on face or back of the bill it must be signed by the pay in exact spelling as details appearing on the face of the bills of exchange it must be termed to be completed by delivery of the instrument it must be made by the holder of the instrument being transferred types of endorsement 1 blank endorsement in this case the person endorsing the instrument needs to put his signature on the reverse side that is back of instrument without writing the name of person in whose favor the instrument has been endorsed Two, special or full endorsement. In case of full endorsement, instruction is given to concern to pay amount as mentioned in the instrument. Name the specified person, and the endorser puts his signature below the name. Bill receivable and bills payable. What are bills receivable and bills payable? bills receivable the person that is seller who draws bills of exchange and gets it back after due acceptance from the buyer that is debtor it is known as bill receivable it is meant for recording all bills of exchange or promissory note received by the business from its debtors bills payable the person that is the buyer who accepts the bills for him it is termed to be bills payable it is meant for recording all bills of exchange or promissory notes issued by the business in favor of its creditors one in the books of drawer or promisor bill receivable can be treated in following four ways in by receiver he can keep the bill with him till maturity date and get it collected on the date of maturity directly or through banker he can get the bills discounted from the bank in case of need of urgent funds he can endorse the bill in favor of his creditor in the books of acceptor or promisor in the books of acceptor or promisor entries are recorded in the same under all the four alternatives it makes no difference whether bills are retained discounted endorsed or pledged in case of dishonor of bills bills is said to be dishonored when the drawee fails to make payment on the date of maturity in this case the liability of the acceptor is restored therefore in case of entries made in journal in case of receipt of bills will be reversed summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module a bill of exchange is an instrument in writing which contains an unconditional order directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to the bearer of the instrument parties to bills of exchange includes draw drawee 
and pay. A promissory note is an instrument in writing which contains an unconditional promise by only party to pay a specified amount of money to another party. Accommodation bills is also known as kite bills. Bills receivables and bills payable are accounted. 